What's going on YouTube? Subum Saint bringing you another review. Today I am bringing you one on the Glacier version 2. I don't know anything about the Glacier version 1, so this is like my first review of the Glacier version 2. This is by a company called Vapors Cloud. It's Vapors with a Z. So See how they slip that in there. Anyways, this thing retails for like 49.99, it's about 50 bucks and it's actually a pretty solid, solid RDA. I mean, it is 23 millimeters in diameter, so keep that in mind. For all you guys that want to hybrid it on a mech mod that's 22 millimeters, it's going to look a little funny. Just saying. I do have it sitting on top of this hexome right here. I, I do got to admit, I got that at my local shop. That was more, that was more of an early Christmas present for me. Anyways, I wanted to do a little shout out to these guys, Little Heads Vapor. I will be doing a review of these guys probably Wednesday. That way I can, you know, because they did send me juice, that way I could review for you guys. And I gotta admit, so far I've been enjoying those, but this this is not what this video is about. It's about this Glacier version 2. Now, without further ado, I say we dive down. Get down to the nitty and the gritty, y'all. And we d check this little RDA out. Alright guys, here we are up close with everything that comes in your packaging. Didn't really want to sh show the packaging because um, I'm not going to be, a I'm not going to lie to you guys. I forgot how it was packaged. <laughs> Here's your metal AFC. Obviously sharp, sharp edges, so be careful. This is for your chuff piece, which is... Right yonder. Nice little chuff. Fits snug in there. Here's your Delrin chuff piece. Now, I'm not a big fan of these because I don't like Delrin sitting that close to my coils. I had a, bl a bad experience with the plume veil when I first started vaping. And it was just, yeah, not a good idea for me with a Delrin close to coils. They do have metal versions of these that you can buy on their online shop so i will put a link in the description for that i think they're like 22 bucks for a metal one of these and i actually like the looks of these a little better because it kind of looks more flush and it looks better in my opinion but everybody's opinion is different there's that Here's your little 510 adapter here. I don't know why they made it stainless steel. That kind of gripes me a little bit because to me it doesn't, it just doesn't look right. Take your chuff out, put your little 510 in here. And th there you go with the 510 adapter. I, I, I'm i assuming they just threw that in there just so you'd have that option. I do wish they would, uh, you know, kind of painted it black or something to match. Because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm one of them people that I'm matchy-matchy. I gotta have everything matching. And I'm not even gonna lie to you, I am pretty bad about matching. So, it is stainless steel. So, just be forewarned. Now, here's your sleeve. Nice little mountain engravement, or glacier, sorry. See your airflow, airflow right there. Glacier engraved in there. You can get these separately too. Say you ordered like a copper one and you didn't like the color of it. You can actually order these collar sleeves right here. I think they're like Tiffany blue, white, purple, dark blue. Stainless steel, bra bla ah, brass, black, copper, you know, whatever color you want. And I think those are like 15 bucks. So, it does have a nice little lip here for when it goes on your deck. And here is your beautiful deck. 
Now, I'm not going to lie to you, I, I, I'm a big fan of the Velocity style decks. It's just so much easier to build on. Vapor's Cloud. Safe to use on a hybrid. This is about as close as, you, as tight as you're going to get it in there. So, definitely you got enough to protrude there. Your juice mill, uh, juice well is like 7 millimeters deep. Post holes are 2.5 millimeters. Now keep in mind that this device is a 23 millimeter RDA. It's not, a, not your standard 22 millimeters. It is a little bit bigger, but I mean it's not that big of a difference to me but i mean if you're using it on like a mech mod or something that might not be your foo sway or whatever you want to call it you do get a bag of goodies here you can replace your pen copper you do get extra coils insulator o-rings screws you can even change out your 510 to make it copper there you guys go get some pretty good goodies up in there now see this is how you turn your airflow adjust it all the way around to where it's closed off all the way same way on both sides open her up all the way i do not believe there is a single coil way i mean there is no way for you to single coil it I mean, it's the same way with the Delrin piece. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the difference here. See, I like the Delrin, the way the Delrin looks better. But it still looks good. Still looks good. Now, these uh, O-rings right here on the deck, they're a little loose. I mean, when they're juiced up, it's like they slide off easy peasy. So, definitely be forewarned about that. So, there you guys go. That's the up close personal with the Glacier V2 or version 2, whatever you want to call it. Take you guys back to FaceTime and we're vape on it. Talk to you guys about my pros and my cons. Alright guys, that was my up close and personal with the Glacier V2 by Vapors Cloud. Guys, I've actually been enjoying this thing. Um... If any of you guys got any familiarity with the Velocity RDA, this thing vapes just like it. I mean, almost identical to it. Great flavor, great cloud production. It's so easy to build on. That 7mm deep juice well, that really helps. You know, you can just load up on the juice in there and just, you're good. You're good. You can just take vapes all day, man. I mean... Just, and, and the flavor is actually really, really good for this device. You, you would think because it's a little bigger than, I don't even know if I have one around here. It's a little bit bigger than most RDAs, like height-wise. So you'd think it would like kind of ruin the flavor. But I actually get really good flavor, especially off the chuff piece. I do not like that the little 510 adapter that they give you is stainless steel. I just, I don't, I don't like that. I mean... I mean, make it black to where it matches my RDA because, you know, I don't know if anybody else is like me, but I, I'm, I'm really anal about matching, and I don't know why. I just, I don't know. So, I mean, other than that, I really don't have any problems. I mean, I have heard people saying that they've had problems with the grub nuts or the screws or whatever, but if you actually... I'll put a link in the description of where I got mine, and they actually give you the updated screws to where, you know, it's actually, they they work good. I mean, I haven't had any problems with them clipping my leads. I haven't had any problems with them backing out. So, I mean, that's the good thing about grub and screws, right? Or grub nuts or heck, whatever you guys want to call them. So, sorry, I got a little nose running going on here. I mean, the weather, weather is kind of fluctuating around here. But uh, the post holes are really good to build on. I mean, 2.5 millimeter post holes. So, you know, you can get pretty much any build that you want in there. Unless you just, unless you're building an elephant build or something. So, I do like the other options to where, 
you have different color sleeves if you want to buy different color sleeves or you can just buy them separately if you want a red one just get a red one if you got a black one like i got and you want a red one then just buy the red sleeve now i do not like the delrin chuff piece right here because i don't i don't like delrin that close to my coils you know i don't want to i don't want that plasticky taste or i don't want it to burn on my coils or something I'm, I'm scared about that i just i just don't like something like that I mean, that's probably subjective. I mean, people probably do it all the time, but I don't like doing it. So, I like using the metal AFC. It's just more of a comfort thing for me. But, I mean, to each its own, right? So, I mean, I like that it comes with all the spare insulators. It does come with a copper post. It does come with the copper 510. I mean... This one has the makings of being a great cloud chasing RDA. Uh, I've actually enjoyed it. I mean, it's definitely escalated up there and pretty close to my top RDAs that I have to date. Um, I'm not going to say it's number one, but it's definitely up there just because, I mean, the flavor is where I want it. The airflow is great. I love the chuff pieces. I love, I actually. All around love the looks of this RDA I mean it's real simple it's just got a mountain on the side of it and it says glacier I mean can't get much simpler than that but let me take a little vape here I mean it's it's really great I mean I'm not even gonna lie to you guys I mean for 50 bucks for an authentic you can't go wrong so I will leave a link in the description along with my Facebook my Instagram my everything you guys need to know to follow up with me I am more active on Instagram and all that stuff so if you want to stay up to date with like what I have the review or anything like that just follow me on there if not then whatever I mean, you ain't even got subscribed to me, but I mean, I'm just trying, trying to help you guys out, and and I don't haven't really seen all that many reviews on this RDA, so I thought, you know, hey, I'll go ahead buy it, review it, definitely get this out to you guys because hey, it's a great RDA. I mean, we all love vape budget friendly RDAs. I mean. But, without further ado guys, I will be leaving you. I will bring that Little Head Vapors e-juice review to you guys midweek this week. Uh, I have been busy. I hope all of you had a great Thanksgiving and I hope all of you are safe and had good times, spend time with your family. I, I did actually go Black Friday, man, and that was just, that's not good. I didn't, I, I don't enjoy going, I don't like dealing with crowds like that. It's just, yeah. Just to save a couple bucks. So, anyways, anyways, anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I would definitely recommend this one. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I mean, I'm not persuaded by companies. I don't have any of this sent to me. I have all, I do pay for all this stuff. So, I would definitely buy this RDA again if I was to lose it or something was to happen with it. Now, they do have 510 hybrid adapters, all that stuff on their website. They have different color sleeves. They have the Delrin one right here. This style. And metal on there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, they do have extra screws. all Everything that you need for this RDA. So definitely check it out. Now you guys keep them coils wet. And I will see you guys next time.